Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing a little bit more arena and I want to make this arena video because of a comment. Let me uh, choose my first trait. Movement speed based off of ability haste honestly might be the best thing here. But there's also some other really good augments. At the start of each round, gain a shield after using leap. Your marks... Mm, I guess we'll get the leap. Make it so every single time we jump inside a cougar form, we uh, get back some armor and magic resist that stacks. And then it will stack for the entire round, so I just become tanky. Um, anyways, what I was trying to say is that when I did the last arena video, there was a comment which was the top comment. And I already replied to this comment. It was just like... Um, it really sucks how Riot doesn't care about how Arena Mode um, has, like, Bruisers being the strongest, as always, and uh, it really sucks. So, that type of comment. And if you guys didn't know, because this was super upvoted, a lot of people upvoted it. Uh, actually, Riot has, because another thing that it said is, like, I wish that uh, Riot did something like ARAM, where... Um, how ARAM works is that certain champions have, like, increased healing or decreased healing, increased damage or decreased damage to try to make it more fair, right? Well, they did, they do have something like that for Arena. I guess people might have not known because it's not very easy to see it because when you put your mouse over these things, you can see the champion buff right there. But as you can see, all things are balanced. So that means Nidalee has nothing, right? No, that actually doesn't mean that at all. It actually does exist. Oh. Okay, she's dead. Um, but how they did it is actually more intuitive, I'm going to get the ability power for sure, than how ARAM is. So how it works is that champions literally have different AP ratios, base damages, whatever it might be. And I want to showcase these uh, picks that got mega buffs that maybe people don't know about. And it's actually quite fun to play it because of these mega buffs. If you guys don't know, L Nidalee Spear at max range should have 150% AP ratio. And on this, it's 240%. So it's a solid 90% AP ratio buff to the point that when you get to late game in full build, the spear hits for 3,000. You can't get to 3,000 on live servers. There must be, there or not there must be, there might be also some other changes, but that's like the one that I know about. Um, so yeah, that's uh, really what I wanted to showcase. And there's a lot of champions. Why is my, my mouse is stuck? That was weird. Um, for instance, Nunu is also a champion I enjoy playing in this game mode. And Nunu also gets... Uh, healing as if champions were minions. If you guys didn't know, Nunu gets reduced healing on his consume when he's eating champions, but on this game mode, it doesn't work that way. So that's another champion where you would think he would be complete trash. And not only that, his snowball, similar to Nidalee Spear, also has that increased effect uh, of like the 240%, which is once again like 90% bigger than a uh, what it is on live servers. So yeah, they they do change certain champions around to try to make them strong because if they don't, then they're not gonna be good. So just know that Riot does, they're trying to make it so champions that all, honestly really suck can be good. They aren't just ignoring this, this game mode. I honestly think they have been really trying to uh, make it so there's lots of different things for you to play. Now this gives adaptive force and it makes crit chance increase to crit damage and if i took this and i got jeweled gauntlet which would be lucky because it's like a prismatic augment i believe i could crit with my spear but that's just luck so i probably can't do that i wish that i could it'd be so sick so i'm probably going to take something else i'm gonna take the demonic the Demonic Embrace uh, Prismatic item. So what the Prismatic Demonic Embrace item does is that we can sacrifice some of the uh, health 
when I click it, and I will lose some health, but I get movement speed for like three seconds. And then the lower HP I get, the more uh, AP I get. So that's pretty nice too. Oh, dang, they have that item. Yeah, this, this round is so doomed. I don't know if I can ever kill this Cassiopeia. Honestly, I did dodge like everything she had. And I still am. I think we should just be chill and just let them do their thing over there. Oh. I mean, you came over, but nobody's here. I mean, you just somehow get that Cassiopeia, bro. How, how do we... Okay, good. We landed a spear on her, finally. I, I can't win this, unfortunately, because I won't be able to kill before he revives his teammate. But I, I was trying to jump over there to get to that. That that's a really difficult matchup. I don't know if we could have ever won that. We need like more damage. We just don't have enough. Oh, this wow, they changed how Gunblade looks? That's Gunblade. <laughs> looks like a sword now. It really is a, a blade. Okay, so we're playing against some pretty tanky team comps. I don't know if I really have a shred uh thing to build. I don't think I do. I guess I'll just buy this for now. For the most part, I think that also using Demonic Embrace isn't really the best, so I'm probably not going to be using that. Unfortunately, they're just going to continue going for you, but I mean, you're so damn tanky, though, you know? And I also heal you for a lot. Okay, he's kind of winning on his side, honestly. Okay, I got her. Healing myself. Spearing. Nice. Yo, good job, Ram. Is keeping us alive. Uh, the number on my demonic is how much AP it's giving me. And also, that can be increased if we get more health. So I totally could build more health items to increase my health to try to get even more. But of course, then it might make it so I just don't deal as much, though. There's maybe some other items that could be really good, though, for me. Maybe? Like this locket would give me a ridiculous amount of AP. Let's just buy a legendary item, I guess. And I'm gonna go for a Rod of Ages. This isn't that bad. So what Rod of Ages will give us is that after two rounds, it will upgrade into like a full rod. So we get the HP and mana. And I want that because that's really going to benefit my Demonic Embrace, giving me more AP, so. I'm, I'm just dead here. Oh, wait, maybe I'm not. No, I'm definitely dead. Rakan is so annoying. Holy. He actually has, like, zero CD. This guy might be able to revive me, though. I just don't know if I can do anything afterwards. I should never jump in when I get jumped on like that. I should have just kept uh, running away. That's what I should have done. Oh my god, that Jin shot just did so much damage to that guy. Healing you? Spearing her? Nice. Wow, I'm surprised that I got over that wall.
I think he's dead, no? Oh my god, that gin shot scared me so hard. I thought I was gonna die. God, this will give me 118 AP <laughs> when I'm really, really low. What's also nice is that Nidalee heals you for more the lower you get, so. Okay, so these are just silver augments, so they're normally kind of meh. I automatically root people around you could be very good against melees when I'm trying to run away from them, but also repulsor to make them get knocked away is also good. I think I'm going to take the root though, because if I'm like against a wall and it knocks them back, it might not knock them back anywhere, so this might be a, a bit easier to use. I'm still just trying to save my money because I, I want to try to buy another prismatic, and you can only buy these special prismatics through the anvil, and it's really expensive, so... I'm trying to not spend anything. I could buy two anvils right now, but I'm not. Oh, I almost saved you. I was gonna, uh, do something. I was gonna heal you. Yeah, you're not gonna res your teammate? Like, what? There you go. Oh, I might be dead before I can even res my teammate. I can't do it this time, dude. The Silas has too much healing. There might have been a chance if we won if I just healed my teammate from the beginning, so we could have actually, like, you know, abused that it was a 2v1. I should have just healed him sooner. It heals for so much, too. We're still in first place, though, even though we lost a couple of those rounds, and I have a pretty decent amount of money. After next fight is when we get more money again, and maybe it will be enough. I hope. I think it should be. Quite a few of these are pretty good too. Like the detonation orb is kind of like a Zed ult, but it never goes away until it has enough to kill the person. So that could be good to like stack up a bunch of damage on them. Whoa, you are really going hard. Who's going to heal you? I got her with the spear, that's a big one. So she'll probably die pretty soon, right? I'm taking the lantern over, oh. Oh my god, dude, Thresh just saved her so hard. But we still got her, nice. Because she got so many of those plants, I th bet her ultimate reset, so I was super lucky. All right, we do have enough for Prismatic, please give me something good. Everfrost is not bad, because Everfrost will give us HP again, but it's kind of boring, though. Okay, we either take Detonation Orb or Talisman. Talisman is fun, <laughs> but maybe kind of risky to go. Talisman is like the ultimate gambling item. I'm going to take it. How Talisman works is that it gives you random stats, and then you can re-roll it. And right now it's giving me 120 AP, as you can see. And it's also giving me heal and shield power, so I'm going to stay on it. And then I'm going to try to win the round, and then I'll re-roll it, like, when I'm either dead or we win or lose. Because you can re-roll it after the round. It's just good right now, so. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that. I probably could have killed him if I had landed that, too. Oh my god, dude, I'm so dead. If only I landed that. She went in and did so much damage and got her low, kind of. And if I landed one spear, it probably would have been enough. Maybe I just reroll now. It looks like he'll probably not be able to survive. So one reroll. Now it gives me HP, mana, and magic pen. Don't care about that. You want to continue rerolling because, as you can see, it says 9. 
and every single time it goes up, it makes it so your rerolls are better. So you're incentivized to not just sit on a really good thing unless it's like really, really god tier because you might miss out on getting even stronger stats. And right now the stats absolutely suck. So we're gonna reroll. Also, my abilities can now crit and I think I'm gonna take that, so. I got AP, which is not that bad. I got magic resist. Oh, this is a skip combat level. We actually don't even play in this one. Time to raise the stakes if you win this round, get 20 HP. Wait, do we get HP if we we don't play though? I'm re-rolling again. Now I got 126 ability haste. Okay, but that's kind of useless though. <laughs> I don't think ability haste is very good here. All right, there's Galio. Galio, Vayne. I think the Sona wins. Sona just runs around and heals and is really annoying to kill. Unless Samira gets off her ult. She did get off her ultimate, but she kind of just didn't hit anybody though. Yeah, she loses. And over here, it looks like the Vayne Galio win. I believe. Aw, oh, close. It's never done. Do we get HP? We did! Oh my god, we actually got HP? Sick. Um... I'll take the ability haste. Okay, reroll once. Please give me a good amount of AP. That gave me nothing. Oh my god, this could give me something. It gave me, it gave me pretty bad stats. It gave me a huge amount of base mana regen. So this round's gonna be rough. If not, just lost. It might just be over. Dude, that shield is so gigantic. I can't even burn through it yet. That was Galio's shield from his ult. I just need to cue her. Oh my god, we're back to the same dilemma as before. Yeah, dude, that sucks. I needed one heal and I win. Just one heal. But also, we had a terrible augment, so that was like, or a terrible roll. Give me a good roll, please. Okay, 177 AP. I'll take that. I'm probably not going to roll it again. 177 AP is pretty ridiculous. I can also sell this and like buy decap to increase our AP. And then we'll buy a blue pot to increase it further. And now like when I use this, you can see my demonic. 71 AP, 94 AP. Like when I get low, it, it gives me a huge amount. So... We're playing versus the Gragas Sona, though. And I don't have Pen, really. I only have 38. I mean, she doesn't have that much magic resist, but still. I mean, it's it's going to be rough. This guy has a bunch of armor, and that's it. And these guys are double AP. Wow, that did an incredible amount of damage there. I got her? I one-shot her? Boom. Nice, dude. We actually kicked them out, too. So it's only 1v1 now. Oh, wait, no. We didn't kick them out? There's no way that the game's going to make us play again, though. How much crit chance is that?
40. Okay, so I'm getting crit chance because I want to make it so I just like always uh, deal a lot. Okay, we get a skip combat. Hopefully, the Gragas Sona lose. Oh, they're probably not though, huh? Nice spears. It's, it's all set up from you, dude. Just, just throwing at your taunts. I don't, I'm too scared to reroll, by the way. Uh, I'm not gonna gamble at this stage. Okay, it looks like someone is gonna win. This sucks because uh, they they won't get kicked out. Technically, because this is like TFT, there's eight teams um, of two. So, because we're top four, we technically won. But, of course, it's better to be in first place and stuff, so. Unfortunate. I wish that we got to... Yeah, they're just going to full heal. And then when Vayne respawns from the ring, it won't matter. There's no way she can kill both of them from this HP, I think. Yeah, he's just going to continue dying to this Galio. I mean, not Galio Gragas, so. Dang it, dude. I can't believe you guys lost. And now we're going to have to go against the Vayne comp. Now we're gonna have to go against the Vayne comp. I don't want to sell any of my items, I think. I'm just gonna get stats. And then buy a blue pot. Yep, we're against the Vayne Galio. Yikes. I mean, I have like 100% crit chance. My spear does almost 3,000. This is like not that much AP. It could definitely be higher. I mean, I can get up to 3,000 though. Nice roll. Thanks, man. The thing is that this roll is uh, from a previous round though, so yeah. I don't deal damage to that guy. I actually deal nothing. I don't know, the guy just literally blocks it, bro. That was so close to landing on her! I landed that. I'm just gonna heal you now. I don't think there's a way that we can actually, like, deny... Nice! Okay, so what what's gonna happen is that you can only revive your teammate once, so now we just need to play the, the long game of just, like, waiting. I know this guy doesn't die and stuff, but... The goal will probably be to uh, get him hopefully whittled down to the point that... He dies. Oh my god, we can get first now. We can. Of course, we might lose this round. This this is a extreme struggle still. Let's get the HP. And then we're going to buy a blue pot. And uh, the green pot for more HP. Like how much this gives me now. I'm just like using it just to see how much I get of AP. My spear is gonna hit for like 4,000. <laughs> but once again, I don't have that much pen. Wow, that actually hit that Gragas so damn hard. I'm just getting hit by this Lux, man. I actually got hit by Lux every single time. I'm so dead. We lost. 
They're just focusing me. Oh, wait. Can you taunt him? No, you can't. He's only focusing me because he knows that if I die, it's over. Yeah. But it's like so impossible to land a spear from far away without the taunt. I'm sorry, dude. I can't do it. It's too hard. I can't get through her shield without your taunt. GG's. Second place is not that bad, though. So thanks for watching on uh, the first game of something that's a bit unique. Of course, I'm going to try to only play a bunch of unique uh, like buffs to showcase the champions that got buffed in a way that uh, allows you to play them. And they're actually not that bad. So that was Nidalee. Huge spear damage. I do think our augments could have been more fun. And maybe I did really need to get uh, some type of like... Look, look at this item that she built. This is a prismatic item. It gives you magic resist and it increases your magic resist by a total amount. And also you can see reduces all damage taken scaling with your magic resist. So like she had a huge thing to like make it so I didn't deal that much. So I think my build could have been kind of bad. And I took the gambling item. But yeah, second place, not that bad, right? Hey guys, welcome to a uh, game two. This time we're going to be playing Jinx. Uh, I Google searched like league arena balance changes and it seems that it's pretty difficult to find like a a place where you can see oh my god that's exactly what i wanted your w gets 200 ability haste because what we were going to do is play lethality jinx because i did find uh 13.24 as a patch from a really long time ago and you can find some of these changes. Uh, for instance, I think this has like a 15 second cooldown. Okay, so it's a little bit higher, but still that's much less than what it's supposed to be, right? You see how it's 23 seconds at max 16? And this is not supposed to have a 200% AD ratio on it. It's supposed to have, uh, I think like, where is it? 160 so it got a 40 damage buff so once again just another good change right uh to benefit if you want to play something a bit different oh i just mess that up so hard my bad i was gonna flash preemptively i think that's worth it Is she going to continue running away? I mean, we're just going to beat these guys slowly. If, if they don't want to fight us, it's pretty chill. We should be able to uh, get the Zack Blobs here. It's actually kind of difficult. Oh my god, I almost didn't get him. And then we'll just kill this guy. He, he can't even get to his teammate in time. I can just put these down just to make sure that he doesn't. This auto attack. Obviously, Lethality Jinxter in the early game is not really that good. But I'm just happy that we got the augment that it makes it so we <laughs> have like no cd on our w whatsoever that's so good this way as you can see he has the q being super low cd so he has something that's pretty good as well uh, i'm gonna take the random shard no i'll take the health i don't want to accidentally take something really bad that would be pretty tragic and i'm also going to take the attack speed boots the reason for the attack speed boots is that that makes the channel wind up of your w faster because it's hard to land this and i don't need the cdr i don't need to go cdr boots because we already have plenty on uh my w anyways so pretty happy about that i don't know what i want to play next i did talk about nunu so i could do a nunu game but th this whole entire video is supposed to be me playing things that you know, aren't supposed to be necessarily that good. People wouldn't try this. Because I just want people to know that every single patch when Arena was out, whenever something was super, super broken, Riot would nerf it. If Camille wins every single game, Riot will nerf Camille. They will. Um, and if, if something really sucks terribly, they look at win rates and they will buff it if they need it to be buffed. So, oh, 
Oh, I accidentally killed the uh, other guy. I got him. One more auto. Good W spam on those guys. So yeah, if you ever hated Arena because like something... If, the thing is that balancing is always going to be su super difficult because... Uh, let me just think about what I want. You're mobilizing crowd control effects and crit. Immobilizing? I don't think I immobilize. Dang, that'd be so good. Resulting increased crowd control duration. This, you can get on Gragas and perma CC people. Well, it's so funny. For you. It's not funny for them. Critical strike chance grants random crit damage to each attack. Every two rounds gain a random dragon soul, and that will, like, increase later on. This sounds really good if I could get Jeweled Gauntlet. But I don't have Jeweled Gauntlet. Let's just get it in hopes that we do get it. I mean, we'll, we'll be ballsy. This is being risky. If I don't get JG, this, this could be awful. Why wow, I can't move. I think she has the augment that, uh... Oh, no. Gives more CC? Oh, I guess not. Alright, cool. So, very easy to fight the, uh... That team. And that was a Magic Missile brand. Just play the range game versus these champs. If I can just land a few Ws on them, they're screwed. Once you get hit by a single W... Uh, you are slowed for two seconds, and my CD is so short to the point that I actually can hit you and keep you slowed permanently if you don't dodge it. So, <laughs> quite good. Oh, Vayne also... Everybody has these augments for a lower CD on their abilities. Huey also has infinite stacking AP augment there. So, uh, I definitely want to go assassin items. Um... I guess I'll go for... Man, what do I want to go for? Opportunity, I guess? I'll go opportunity. Is there other things that I can take that would be, like, so good for us? Attacks and non-ultimate abilities, grant anticipation, which... In grant ultimate damage and ultimate haste? I would want this. This sounds sick. So then I just throw out my W's, stacking it. Why do I hear whistles? That's actually super annoying. I don't even know what that's from. That is so weird. I don't have anything open. So I guess it's like maybe from a champion or something. Okay, we'll just crit that guy. We, we can also do some auto-attacking. I mean, this is not really meant for uh, what I'm doing, but I figured why not take it just because. Oh, it is Janna. She's... I'm getting away from you, bro. It's your damn whistling is so annoying, actually. <laughs> it's from Janna. I was wondering what that was. Oh, Dust Blade would also be really good. Yeah, Dust Blade would also be super good. I'm just like reading some of these. Kane's probably dead here, I imagine. Are you going lethality or crit? Oh, I didn't even notice that guy actually uh, messaged me asking what I was doing. Your ultimate damage deals increased damage? Oh, Axiom is a little bit different. I actually didn't even know that. I'm going to build this then. Oh my god. It's like a one second CD. <laughs> I'm going to run out of mana, actually. <laughs> I'm actually going to run out of mana. 
Man, maybe I should have went Mermana. I didn't know if I wanted to build that inside this game mode, but uh, yeah, maybe could have been decent. Dang, she got a really good roll on her talisman. 65 AD is uh, not that bad, I think. Oh no. What a disaster, bro. Yeah, I can't carry this. The Malzahar just presses R. I mean, if we build a, a QSS, I could be the person who... Oh, look, my partner gains health attack damage. Oh, it's Banner Command. She didn't even get to activate it because she died so fast. That team comp just counters us. I mean, they just hard engage. We're poke. Also, that this map sucks. Like, this map would have been much better to try to kite. The map that we were on was pretty bad for uh, our style of team comp. My goal is just top four every single uh, time that I play something jank. Because that technically means you, you kind of want because you get LP. So. That's what I want. <sighs> Multiply your hard steel stacks by six. This guy's going... Oh man, that's that's gonna be rough for us. At the start of each round, imprison yourself. Uh, you get bonus AD and stuff. Healing. Begin reviving yourself. No, I don't really like any of these. Casting your ultimate also makes you invulnerable. You are attached to your ally and can't move. This sounds... Okay, this just sounds fun. I kind of want to do this. All right, bro. I'm going to be your turret. Oh, dear. <laughs> Dear. She literally. Oh my god. I actually do it so fast. Oh, okay. Just run. Just run. Please. Get me out of the corner. She, she probably should have just immediately ultied and ran. But that's okay. I, I couldn't get out of there. That was an awkward scenario for me. <laughs> My damage sucks. <laughs> yeah. But that's because I feel like I don't have pen. What, what did I get? What did I get? I got ability, power, and attack damage? Did that guy have armor? This guy. Yeah, this... This guy had... What? Dude! Okay, but they both have a ridiculous amount of armor. And he also had the thing that also stacks armor. That was gonna be a tough round, bro. They're just building against you? I mean, they're just, they're just building AD. I don't know. Probably not specifically against me. All right, Riven and Zack. Yikes. I'm going to run out of mana. Get over there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We'll continue the barrage of fire. Just fight, just fight. Just go in. I think we can win this. I can just auto attack her to death. Okay. <laughs> that was bullying, bro. That was that was good. That's that's what we're aiming to do. I think I actually need to buy this item, by the way. Okay, what are we playing against? Oh no, it's the Malzahar guys. 
Yikes, dude. That's not good. I don't know if we can ever beat these guys, honestly. This is so scary. Stat bonus. Attack speed. This will make our W better. Easier to land. We're almost top four. Very close. But I, I don't know if we can win versus these guys. Okay, so it is a larger map. I think I'm just going to use my ultimate immediately. Darn it, dude. I really needed to land that. I got silenced. That sucked. Get me out of there. No. Oh, wait. Oh, no. She, she brought us in. That's not good. I think we actually could have survived that if she ran. I think she got confused about what is going on with, uh, you know, being activated on like that. Oh my god, I completely forgot that. I'm like... I'm sorry, bro. I missed too many Ws. I forgot that I also would reattach to you. That was actually so close. We are top four, so technically we did win. Gain Black Shield at the beginning of the round? I think this is actually really good because we need to win this round. This would be good for like the previous time. But I'm just hoping that... uh. Oh wait, you got it too? Oh cool, we both get Black Shield, that's sick. Now Zyra plants kind of counter me, so once again I feel like we're playing versus something that maybe is uh, going to be difficult to play against a bit. <laughs> but, oh well. Yeah, they play so far away. So it's really hard to find angles. Damn, I died so fast. That was a good try, Janna. We probably should have not done that, but I still think that was pretty hilarious to play. So fourth place, we'll take it. That's still technically a win because once again, just like TFT, if you get top four, you gain uh, like rank. You might not get that much, but I should have never taken that, but that was still funny. All right, I I'm trying to get to the damage stats. If I don't even know if I could look at it. See, I got 110. Damage dealt. Look, it's not that bad. It's just that I should have never taken that. All right. See you guys later. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome to the next one. Uh, you know, I talked about Nunu so much. Might as well play him, right? Um, so for the first augment, I think I'm going to take the increased max HP by half your mana. The reason for that is... Uh, Nunu has HP scaling in his kit, so I think taking that could be very good just to give us more healing and damage. So just to reiterate, for Nunu on like Arena, and I did find like the website, so there's like an Arena PBE, if you go into like the League of Legends wiki that people use, there's a, a page called the Arena Patch History, so you can go past and like read it up, but my healing is the same as if they were a uh, minion. So that's very good to make it so I just, uh... oh. oh my God, dude, I am just getting knocked up like everywhere. I can probably kill this guy, right? No, oh, actually he doesn't die. He's dead now though. I'm just trying to follow her wherever she goes. She's going to take that portal, though, so I'm just going to walk this way. Because she's just trying to res her ally, but she's probably not going to be able to do it fast enough. Anyways, what I was trying to say, you're healing as is, as if you're eating a minion. And if you didn't know, that's a huge amount of healing. It's a 90% AP ratio for healing. Um, and then your snowball, 250%. So if you hit snowball on somebody that's, like, uh, really big, it will, like almost one-shot them, so that's another thing. I'm going to take the HP again. 
being tanky on Nunu is quite viable. There's even like healing Nunu, which exists. Camille and Lissandra. For now, I'm going to go Merc Treads, I think. They sell for 250. I might like be able to transition to Sorks if I think that I really need it, but they have a lot of CC, like a lot of CC. It's, it's pretty rare to have a comp that doesn't have some form of it, so. Our goal right now will just be healing up. I have played a new new game where I did get like huge snowballs off, but I think the more viable approach is just playing for the Q healing. Um, and if you land a snowball, great. You probably hit really, really, really damn hard. Wow, that Lissandra kind of left his teammate. Uh, my snowball just started the wrong direction. I'm guessing he's killing the Liss. I mean, not Liss, the Camille, so... Don't have to really worry about that one. And that is game on this side, too. Dude, our team comp is pretty good together because he just can go in and do so much. Although, he might eventually die, I guess. He might... Because it's early game, nobody really has, like, one-shot potential yet. But during later stages, there might be an opportunity where he goes in and just immediately gets popped and dies. So... It's kind of scary doing that all the time. So for items, remember that you always want to build stuff based off your augment? Let me think about this. Heal and shield power, ability to haste, mana regen. Activate to dash to an ally to grant you both a shield. But that's kind of boring, though. I want... Gain increased health, health and shield power per 100 health you're missing. So this, honestly, is probably the best thing that I could build. So I'm just going to build it. What this is going to do is that... The more HP I have, the more healing I get. Oh, it's up to 40%. So about 4,000 HP. But that is a huge amount of HP that I need, though. So I, I still have a long ways to go to get to that threshold. So I'm going to be building things like Rod of Ages. Because Rod of Ages gives us mana and health. I mean, that didn't really deal that much, but... Healed for 500 there. Healed again for 500. I'm gonna take the portal. Healed again. Continuing the healing. <laughs> I healed for 600. Oh my god. You can see down here the 11% is how much more increased healing and shielding I have. So <laughs> I'm just... I'm not even getting to half of the amount that I should be getting. Alright, so first item, probably Rod. I don't think any item in the game can give us more HP and AP than that. Unless I go Seraphs. We, we can go for like a special thing where we go Seraphs and Rod. It's like a scaling thing. But what should I go first? I think Rod probably first is the more viable option. Pike goes crazy if you just high roll lethality stat anvils. Oh, yeah. I can't type. Okay, anyways. What he's saying is that when he builds um, the, the random stats from anvils, if he gets the lethality one... He can make it so he has, like, really good stats. Because a lot of his stats scale with lethality well. And he shouldn't be able to get good lethality very easily. I'm just going to wait for this guy's ultimate to expire, honestly. Oh, poor guy got a full channel new new ultimate on himself. That guy might go for the portal. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. Because it looks like he's going to go for it. Never mind, he's dead. See you later, brother. That guy's AP Nunu. I mean, AP uh, Udir. 
I thought Master Chief would really be broken in this game mode, but I think uh, some of the champions, if you played Arena in the past, have been nerfed. I swear if I look up on the Arena thing, in fact, I have time right now. Maybe I can just control F him. Control F Master Yi. Master Yi. They uh, lowered his AD, lowered his base damage, lowered the damage of his E. So yeah, they did nerf the champion that was used to terrorize this game mode quite well, so. Gain attack speed for every heal and shield power you have is pretty funny because that would let me auto attack very quickly. If I could get an augment that benefits that. I don't think I should build it yet. I, I'm still going to continue going for like uh, just this scaling first. But eventually I can go for that. I already have 4,000 HP so I'm starting to really benefit from uh, my prismatic item that I have. They have a Kale. They don't look like they have too much shred though. I mean, I guess kinda. This might kinda hurt. We'll see. I'm just gonna ulti here. Her ultimate will expire and then we just pop him. Oh, that guy just got one shot though. Yeah, this guy has a huge amount of healing, by the way. Like, as much as mine, if not more. So, that's a problem. We need to just kill the Kale first. If we can just kill the Kale, that's really good. And now my Pike just needs to survive. I can't let this guy, like, auto-attack me. Yeah, nice. So, Pike just comes back through. Secure a kill on that guy. I'm getting bonus money from that. Wait, I might be able to build a, another Prismatic item because of that. There's a Prismatic item that would uh, give us a huge amount of AP. This Demonic Embrace giving us more AP based off of our missing HP. And obviously we're building. This isn't like based off of your missing HP. It's based off of just a set number. So if I could buy that, <laughs> I can have a huge amount. I don't really want any of these. This makes my teammates stronger. This is Kindred Ultimate. This is uh, just a shield in the beginning, but who cares about that? Your abilities mark enemies. So that's Leona passive. When your ally drops below 30%, trade some of your health for a shield. I could go that for him, I guess. And save my reroll just in case. So this will make it, because you saw that he's dying sometimes, that I can like keep him alive. He has Aftershock and Glacial now. Killing this guy is going to take some time, but I think Pike can just probably get him. Pike is really annoying because he's so damn mobile. He might not be dealing like the most damage all the time, but he is just doing it enough to the point that he just never can move. And we'll see, and Katarina's respawning. My teammate almost died. Yeah, speaking about being annoying, this cat. Okay, she's dead, nice. Now it's just a matter of killing this guy. Does this guy have like slow cooker or something? Am I being cooked? What is the thing around him? I have no idea what that thing is. Oh. Drain 15% of all the damage dealt to people in the area and heal yourself from it, I guess. It takes a while to kill him, but get him in the end. Magic resist, AP. I think AP. The AP roll was better. On the next buy round, we're going to buy a prismatic um, item. We're not going to build any more of these. I don't care about these. I want to hopefully get this demonic embrace, man. This would allow us to win. Also, my Seraphs is uh, completely done now, so a lot of AP from that. My HP is 4.5k. If only this told you how much you would get. I feel like you should. I mean, you can technically calculate it very easily, I guess. Just half, so 
it's going to give us 1,300 health, so. All right, so this could be a difficult fight because they have a Swain, and Swain does the sucking and staying alive, so. Oh, no. I'm just going to ulti here. Okay, well... Oh, no, he didn't actually get outside of it. But the thing is, I'm not really dealing damage to that guy. His healing is just incredible. I mean, not that I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of just invincible, it seems, so... I can just stay on top of these guys forever. Nice kill. kill this guy as well. I have my ultimate coming back up. I can just use it like right here. Does that guy have magic missile? No. That's somebody else. I don't know what it was that... Oh, it was from his item. It was from his item, I see. Okay, cool. So I will buy the prismatic item. I did not get it, really? I'm gonna reroll for it. I got it. Oh my goodness, dude. He has 120 armor pen. I'm gonna get the random stats. It looks like I got crit chance and uh, health or armor. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, so the lower I get, the more health I get. And when I get more health, then I'll be healing for more. So I'm just kind of making myself literally invincible. It's not even about the snowball. Although the snowball does hit kind of hard, though. I do die, though. I just healed for 1,200 there. <laughs> Dude, my healing is ridiculous. <laughs> uh. Oh man, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Goodbye. After casting your ultimate... Oh. Item haste. Is that even good, though? After casting your ultimate, mark all enemies for death. My ultimate doesn't really deal that much because, like, these fights have been kind of awkward. The ultimate haste would really benefit, uh... My Seraphs, and that's it. So I guess I'll take the autocast boomerang. I don't know if this scales off of anything. It does. Deal's only 240 though. It's not really that good. Are these the first place guy? Yeah, it is. So uh, Lucian needs to die. The Lucian might one-shot my pike, dude. I wonder if he can one-shot me. Wait, we've beaten these guys before. I'm occasionally using my uh, thing to give me more movement speed.
Dang, if I got one more heal off, I probably would have won that. I needed more ability haste, just a little bit more. But, like, I'm going to choose the random stats because that was a high roll. Please tell me I got something good. I got armor and ability. I got ability haste. That's so lucky. I got ability haste. Okay, we don't get kicked out next round. Okay, we don't even play this next round. So the next idea will be probably not caring about going a death cap. I'm probably going to build a cosmic drive because I just want to, once again, get as much ability haste as possible. Because the only reason why I died is because I couldn't continue queuing. I need to continue queuing to keep the, the health up. Who's going to win this? It, for sure it's a Lucian team. It seems like Katarina is very weak. She doesn't really deal any damage at all, I'm going to be honest. She's not good. Okay, I was I wrong? Was that Katarina damage or was that Jin damage plus also like damage of Set? Okay, cool. So they actually won. Wow. So nobody got kicked out. I can build another Mythic. Or Prismatic, sorry. Why am I saying Mythic? I could build another Prismatic? Dude, if I get this Locket, it would give... <laughs> okay, give me Locket, please. I'm going to sell my item. I got the Locket. Oh my god. Dude. So, at 30 charges, which just is casted, like, when you cast your abilities, you get these stacks. At 30, I get a shield, and I get movement speed, but I get 250 AP for the rest of the round. It's ridiculous. That set's name is I Love Ari's Toes. Do I have the locket? Yeah, I do. I don't even know if we want to let him res his ally. Oh, he's definitely going to get the res off. I'm just eating her. We're, we're gonna have to go down to the the thing coming down. We, we can't kill this guy, but I could probably kill him. I probably win because my healing is gonna let me live inside the arena more, so. That's what we'll probably do. GG's, those guys are kicked out. Now we just need to beat the Lucian comp, and this time I am much stronger. There's a tether between us that constantly deal damage. Infernal Soul or Castle? Man, I wonder if this thing dealing 10% current HP is going to be an issue. I'm going to get the clothesline, I think. Let me also buy a uh, Juice of Haste for more ability haste. Because I do... I'm, I'm trying to make it just so I survive. Oh, yep, I'm healing for a lot again. I'm just going to stick on top of this guy to annoy him. See you later, bro. GG's. So yeah, that was Nunu. I think it's... A oh, wait, it's not over. I thought they were out. I could uh, sell my boots for... 
This? This just gives me more HP? Nah, let's go Death Cap. So now when we have Death Cap, when we start getting really low, we're just going to be really increasing our... Uh... Okay, my AP's not going up, but I think it's bugged. Oh, now it is. I mean, this heals for 1,400. But the thing is, when you're below half, if you didn't know that last line, it increases it by 50%, so you add half the amount on top of that. Wait, the Katarina's not kicked out? Okay. Man, this is, this is a long game. Wait, the Katarina's not here. Oh, never mind, she's here. Did Lucian build anti-heal? No. I wonder if he built anti-heal if that would be enough. I think neither of them built anti-heal against me. Oh my god. Lucian... Oh, my win. Never mind. Lucian trying to kill the cat. If he kills cat, um, he probably can't 1v1 set. Good luck. Oh, set missed his ability. Next dash, maybe can kill. Just don't walk into the brush. Oh, you walked into the brush, dude. He should have, I don't know, maybe he doesn't have trinket or something. That guy's one HP. Oh my God, he actually won. All right, so we're against the Lucian comp. I don't have anything else to buy. Uh, let's build magic pen. Let's get ability haste. Let's get more magic pen again. I mean, Lucian has no MR, so that will influence killing him significantly. Oh, he does have uh, the Grievous now. If an enemy heals for more than 100% of their max HP, then it is increased to 60%. So that's, like, supposed to deny me from, like, actually being able to just, like, perma-heal. So we'll see if it if it's good enough. We'll see if it's good enough. Yeah, it is enough. I literally was CC'd to death. Dang, dude. The Lucian damage is too much. Oh, I think you're dead, aren't you? Yeah, you're dead. Th these guys are difficult to beat now. Maybe I should sell something. Oh, what can I sell? We need to get uh, anti-crit. So I think that we honestly sell our death cap that we got and buy a Randuins. And then buy like an HP pot. And buy another anvil. And armor. So I'm hoping that with this, uh, I can just survive a little bit longer. Because critical strikes now deal 30% less and he's critting every single time, so... Oh my god, he kind of almost destroyed you there. I mean, I'll heal myself, I guess. I'm just trying to have you uh, be ready. We have to kill this guy. Okay, nice kill, nice kill. Huge play. I'm just trying to knock him away from the the guy. One HP, nice. All right, GGs, that's first place. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the new new commentary and uh, just playing things that people might not be interested in playing. <clears throat>
There's there's a bunch of buffs. Riot wants to make it so there's more play styles out there to allow you to try different things. So damage dealt wasn't as much as Pike, but come on, man. Like I'm literally playing full healing Nunu. Damage taken. Um, I guess you can't look at the healing, unfortunately. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.